This is America, Plainview, Nebraska, where the clown, K-L-O-W-N, doll museum houses more than 7,000 clown dolls, one of the largest collections in the world. Cullman, Alabama, home of the Ave Maria Grotto, a park that contains miniature reproductions of 125 buildings and shrines. Lubbock, Texas, where a 13-ton boulder, which was about to fall on a highway in California, has been carved to resemble John Wayne's head. It rests inside a building at Lubbock Christian University. Carbondale, Illinois, home of the University of Southern Illinois, whose sports teams are the Salukis. It has an unusual number of festivals and celebrations, including an April regatta of cardboard boats. That's right, cardboard boats on the water. Think about that. A Saluki, by the way, is a sleek Persian greyhound. Bel Air, Maryland. That's the birthplace of John Wilkes Booth, who, as you probably know, assassinated President Abraham Lincoln. Bet you thought he was from some deep south state. Nope, he's from a border state, Maryland. Fallbrook, California. That's, remember this, the avocado capital of America. Hampton, Virginia. Uh, that's one of the cities, several cities really, in the Hampton Roads area of Eastern Virginia. In this case, these roads are not highways, they're waterways. The world's first bridge tunnel combination across the James River begins there. And Hampton is home to one of the nation's oldest, predominantly black universities. Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, that's the oldest military post in, con in continuous operation west of the Mississippi. Bristol, Tennessee, where bluegrass music originated. Half of Bristol, by the way, is not in Tennessee, but over the line in Virginia. Lemonster, Massachusetts, it's spelled like it ought to be pronounced Leo Minster. It's the place where plastic pink flamingo garden ornaments were first invented. And how empty would our lives be without those pink flamingos? This is America. Pilot Knob, Missouri, or Missouri as some say. That's a town in southeast Missouri where a small but famous Civil War battle was fought. The battle at Pilot Knob was called are you ready for this? The Battle of Pilot Knob. Metairie, Louisiana. That's a New Orleans suburb into the south end of the longest bridge over water in the world, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. Eveleth, Minnesota. That's home to the world's largest authentic hockey stick. It and a big puck, huge puck, stand outside the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame there in Eveleth. Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, which renamed itself after a popular radio show. Truth or Consequences. In the 1950s, it was originally Hot Springs, New Mexico. Lamar, Colorado, where you'll find a gas station made not of cardboard, but of petrified wood. Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. That's the birthplace of artist Georgia O'Keeffe, who's most famous for her landscape paintings of New Mexico, a long way and a lot warmer than uh, Wisconsin. Alexandria, Indiana. That's home to the world's largest ball of paint. Now, how do you make a ball out of paint, you ask? Well, you don't actually. It's a baseball covered in 18,000 layers of paint applied over 30 years by a fellow named Michael 
Carmichael, colon, Michigan. Where you'll find the world's largest manufacturer of magic supplies. Colon, by the way, got its name from the shape of a nearby lake, which looks like, well, it looks like a large intestine. Corinth, Mississippi, where the National Geographic magazine is printed. And I believe there was a, a famous battle in the Civil War that took place in Corinth as well, right on the Tennessee line, if I'm not mistaken. This is America, Portsmouth, Rhode Island. That's home to the oldest schoolhouse in the country. It was built in 1716. Juneau, Alaska. And it's the only capital city in the United States accessible only by boat or airplane. There are no road access points at all. That's because it's wedged between massive rock formations. This town is part of the children's riddle, I remember it, that goes Juneau, the capital of Alaska. Big Stone Gap, Virginia. As the name suggests, it refers to a big gap in the Appalachian Mountains in southwest Virginia, perhaps one that Daniel Boone crossed on his way to Kentucky. The town is best known now, though, as home of a, an extremely high security prison. Eastport, Maine, that's the easternmost city in the continental United States. President Roosevelt's Campobello Island retreat is just offshore in the Atlantic, but it's actually in Canadian territory. Glasgow, Montana. It's an old railroad town in northeastern Montana that was named for the Scottish capital. It was one of the towns on what was called the High Line. That's H-I Line, High Line, of the old Northern Pacific Railroad. Burlingame. California, where it is illegal to spit, except on baseball diamonds. I wonder if dugouts are exempt from this. Thankfully, chaws of tobacco are no longer allowed in levels below Major League Baseball. But if you've ever seen a ball game and watched managers and players in the dugouts, there's plenty of spitting going on now. Trenton, Florida. That's the county seat of Gilcrest. County in north central Florida, once home to the remnants of an American, a Native American tribe that became part of the larger Seminole tribe. Afton, Wyoming, where you'll find the world's largest elk horn arch. I almost said elk horn ranch. It's not an elk ranch, it's an elk horn arch. Ochopee, Florida, from the largest to the smallest. Ochopee claims to have the smallest post office in the United States, but so does little Salvo, North Carolina. I've been to the one at Salvo. It's tiny, all right. It's got the size of a little shed or an outhouse. Marfa, Texas. That's home of an unexplained natural light show that attracts thousands and thousands of visitors annually. This is America, Nebraska City, Nebraska, where Arbor Day began in 1872. Kingston, Tennessee, which was the Tennessee state capital for one day, long enough for rival factions to sign a peace treaty. Lake Havasu City, Arizona, where the original London Bridge was shipped and reconstructed. Carol and I are going to stop at the London Bridge in Arizona on our way home from California in a couple of months. Kenna Jahari, New York, was once home to the inventor of the railroad sleeping car. And it wasn't George Pullman, by the way. It was a fellow named Webster Wagner, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where you'll find the hotel atop the Bellevue. That is the Bellevue Hotel in downtown Philly on the upper floors of what used to be the fashionable Bellevue Stratford Hotel until it was rocked by an outbreak of, you remember this? Legionnaire's disease in 1976. It was 
mold or some such from the air conditioning system that made a lot of people deathly ill, killed some people too. Thomasville, Georgia, it's the city of roses, or with apologies to Portland, Oregon, one of the cities that calls itself the Rose City in our nation. Halifax, Vermont, that's home to Elisha Graves Otis, who had an up and down career. He invented the elevator, Alliance, Ohio, which has only one main street, and it's the only place, the only main street in America that is dead ends at both ends of the street. Doesn't go anywhere. Kelowna, Iowa, or maybe it's Kelowna, Iowa. It's the largest Amish community west of the Mississippi. Osceola, Nevada, where the largest gold nugget ever discovered in Nevada was found in 1876. It weighed, and this is a nugget, remember, one nugget made of gold and weighed 25 pounds. This is America. Littitz, Pennsylvania. It's a town with a twist. The first commercial pretzel bakery in the nation opened in Littitz. Unionville, Maryland, which holds the U.S. record for the most rain falling in one minute. One and one quarter inch of rain fell on July 4th, 1956. Got to put a damper on the big Independence Day celebration, I would imagine. Chira, South Carolina. That's the birthplace of jazz musician Dizzy Gillespie. Chira is one of South Carolina's oldest towns and most picturesque in the inland part of the state. Camden, New Jersey. It's home of the first drive-in movie theater built in 1933. It was named, not very imaginatively, the Drive-In Theater. Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's home to the oldest state university in the nation. It's, of course, the University of North Carolina and its famous Bell Tower landmark. University sports teams there are the Tar Heels. It's a curious reference. It refers to barefoot backwoodsmen who harvested tar from pine trees. Rain, R-A-Y-N-E, Louisiana. That's the frog capital of the world. Or claims, I guess you could say it rains, frogs there, well, maybe not. Catoosa, Oklahoma, it's the nation's largest inland port, part of the Arkansas River system. Old Route 66 goes right through Catoosa, and you'll find a big blue whale there at a little park. Every time we're near that part of the country, we make it a point to go by and photograph that whimsical attraction. Kahalui, Hawaii. It's a town where the island of Maui's airport was built amid a whole lot of sugar plantations. Eau Claire, Michigan. That's hosted the annual Cherry Pit Spitting Championship contest for 39 years. I wonder if the winner's trophy is spit shine or maybe major league ball players could begin to spit cherry seeds instead of tobacco juice. Largo, Florida, not to be confused with Key Largo down in the Florida Keys. Largo is a Tampa suburb that was once a swamp and then such a huge orange growing community that it was known as Citrus City. Its wetlands are saved from suburban development in a nature preserve in an old lake bed.